Hello YouTube, I believe we left off in Mark chapter 4. As always, before we get started reading or studying, we go to the Father in prayer. So, pray with me. Dear Father God, lead us and guide us. Teach us and make us teachable as we go to read your word. Please write the words of your word on our hearts and help us to retain the power of your words. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Alrighty, so let's dive in, shall we? Sorry, I can't do the sword method on this. The parables are really difficult to do the sword method with. Okay, so. And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land and he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up, and some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth. And immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And others fell on good ground, and did yield up fruit that sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some an hundred. So it's talking about four types of soil. That's four different hearts of man and four basic, um, four basic attitudes, uh, I guess you could say. And he said unto them, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. Okay, first of all, I would like to say here that, uh, that, um, some people disagree on this scripture. Some people say, well, only three of them were saved. And I know some people, my dad's wife in particular says that, well, four of these people are saved because there is a scripture that says people 
there's gonna be some people in the kingdom that uh, just barely make it okay so let's go on and he said to them he that hath ears to hear let him hear and when he was alone they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable and he said unto them unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God but unto them that are without all these things are done in parables that seeing they may see and not perceive and hearing they may hear and not understand lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them okay Jesus isn't saying so some people can understand it and some people won't is trying to say that well I mean of course it's encoded but it's saying you know if you're really not willing to put in the effort you're not gonna understand it and some people will say okay it means exactly what it says I'm gonna take the Bible word for word but what some people don't understand is that the Bible the Bible is like a novel I don't know if that's exactly the best way to describe it but the Bible is like a novel it can be sarcastic it can be ironic it has metaphors in it it has similes in it it has uh, many many different literary components and um it's got all sorts of stuff in there it's got alliteration and it's got sarcasm i think i said sarcasm already anyway let's uh let let's move on And he said to them, Now ye not know ye not this parable, and how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the way by the wayside where the word is sown but immediately wait but when they have heard Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts and these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground who they or sorry who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness and have no root in themselves and so endure, endure but for a time afterward when affliction or persecution 
ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lusts of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful and these are they which are sown on good ground such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit and thirtyfold, oh, sorry, some thirtyfold, some sixtyfold, and some in hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set? on a candlestick for there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested neither was any anything kept secret but that it should come abroad if any man hears oh sorry if any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye meet. It shall be measured to your, oh, it shall be measured to you. Jesus is just saying, um, if most people, if you say something offensive to one people or one person, usually they're going to want to get you back. But some people don't do that anymore, so... For the he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken, even that which he hath. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground and should sleep and rise right and day oh sorry rise night and day I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night so um, this might be a little sketchy but I encourage you to go back and read this yourself um let's see and, and the seed should spring up oh and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not how for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear after that the full corn in the ear but when the fruit is brought forth immediately he putteth in the sickle because the harvest is come and he said whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God or with what comparison shall we compare it 
it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it and with many such parables spake the word unto them as they were able to hear it but without a parable spake he not unto them and when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. And the same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they look him even as, hold on, I gotta turn the page. Oh, sorry. They took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind. And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are ye so fearful how is it that ye have no faith and they feared exceedingly and said to one another what manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him Okay, so that was Matthew chapter 4, and if anybody is curious, I am using the old King James, not that, uh, I mean, this probably isn't the oldest version of the King James Bible anyway when it says um but when they had sent away no uh, uh, let's see but speaking not to them and when they were alone he expounded all things to his disciples that means he explained the parables to his disciples when he said or when it says he expounded all things it's saying that he told his disciples exactly what it meant And when they had sent away, hold on, um, 
were able to heal it, but without a parable spake not he unto them. Um, let's see. Anyway, what I was gonna say was, I can't seem to find it, but what I was gonna say, when it says, and even had come, it means evening. The old King James is a little bit difficult to understand, but... I prefer the old King James because it's very poetic, poetic, difficult to understand, but very poetic. Anyway, grace and peace to you, and God bless you.